Hello, I'm DJ Oliver and welcome back to Detroit Performs. Today's show is all about strong women in the arts. I'm at the Review Gallery in Detroit, whose owner happens to be an incredible female herself, Simone de Sosa. Our first female artist is self-taught singer, songwriter, and musician, Audra Kubat, whose love for Detroit and the people of the city runs strong in the depths of her lyrics and the way she gives back to the community. I grew up in uh, Rosedale Park in the west side of Detroit and when I was little we had a piano so I used to just make up songs or I could hear melodies you know and then go and I could figure out how to play them right away just by ear. I didn't really start writing songs or anything until I was out of high school. Much later I got a guitar and started writing songs. I think it was something healing in the process for me. I would work through issues through writing the songs. And I'd feel better after. It was kind of like what crying can do for people sometimes. Um, my first songwriting influence was Joni Mitchell. Her writing was always very honest because I don't think she was like, oh, well, I can't say that. She was like, nope, I can say that. I can say whatever comes to me. I don't think she judged herself. So that was empowering to hear, I mean, especially a female artist. I write a lot of, about a lot of different subjects. I write about people, but I mean, there are always kind of like trying to find um, the hope in it. You know, most of my songs kind of start out um, kind of talking about what the problem is, talking about the things that are, that need addressing. You wrecked yourself again Just trying to stop the pain But like sort of three-fourths through the song, it's kind of like, oh, but it could be like this. It could be like that. And, and it kind of goes through this process of seeing these people they are having a hard time and, and then it, at the end it's kind of like, yeah, but it could be different. The dreamers, they're awake, they rise, they can't believe. I think when you get to those low points, that's when something breaks in you. That's when you make a, a, a choice and, you know, hard choices happen in those times. And then when you come back from that, you're stronger you've built up an immunity to it. And the stars can guide way. And when you get there, the next time something happens that's trying to put you back down there, you're kind of ready for it. You've built up your strength towards it. So it doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to go that far down anymore. But I think if you go through life and you've not, you haven't had those things, you're actually missing out, you know, because I just think that they're really important to like develop really strong and amazing people. I am really sensitive to things outside of me, so it's like hard for me to see people hurting or in pain. So a lot of it started because I wanted to make things better around me, because it was hard for me to live through it. So I wanted to change people, <laughs> I guess. I hope that it's inspirational. I think that the music is trying to be as vulnerable as possible and as open as possible, so that I hope that when you're listening to it, it makes you feel like that somebody's with you, somebody understands, and that we're all actually so much more alike than we are different, and so that it brings us together, <laughs> I guess. What I think a lot of people need is just the encouragement to, to believe in what they're saying. I want to help young people, and really everybody, young at heart also, just everyone to spend time with music and to remind them that they are all storytellers. One of the greatest things I'm doing right now is working with young people and um, working with songwriting and performance. And you know, not all of these students are going to be musicians. Most of them will be doing something else, but it's the confidence that you build through having people listen to you talk, having people listen to your story. We are all storytellers. And so I, I hope to remind people that they have a gift and then I'm ready to hear it. And sometimes it just takes a good ear, you know, a, a patient ear to change the whole life of a young person. Doing songwriting with a school downtown called Dime and just the challenge of teaching songwriting, and especially in a world where pop music is, that's what young people, I mean, I think probably think that they have to do to become you know, popular and known. And I just wanted to say that part of what I hope to bring 
to my songwriting students is a different vantage point. That it's like you can incorporate hooks in your songs and you can incorporate things that that have pop sensibility without sort of compromising your your story. And so that's something that I hope to be able to work with them and I try to do that in my own music. It's like I don't want my songs to be stale and I don't want them to not have some pop sensibility. And I think what happens is out in the world with pop music is like the writing isn't there, but the pop sensibility is there. So the songs are going to be popular because they're fun and they're, they have good rhythm and they have a good hook. Just think about taking that formula and adding like really powerful, uplifting, inspirational lyrics to it with the pop sensibility. Like that's a good song to me. That Those are the kind of songs and the kind of songwriters that I would like to help encourage. You know, and that's the kind of songwriter I want to be. Because I do, I think my songs, some of them are toe tapping. I think what's most important about living in Detroit is um, saying hello to people. I find that nothing, you know, ever really terrible happened to me here, and I've always addressed people. I've always looked them in the face and said hello. You have to be with the people that you're that are on the street with you, and and not be afraid. You know, put on a good face. The city, you know, despite. Uh, what people may think um, has a lot to show. Currently, I'm, I host an open mic at Union Street. It's down on Woodward across the Majestic Cafe. And I host an open mic there every Tuesday at nine o'clock. And um, so I open up the night and I play some of my songs. And then we have a, a great group of young and uh, established songwriters and poets sometimes to all kinds of different people doing different things but um, that come down and share their work with each other and it's become a really vibrant sort of jewel I think. There is not a dud in the group. There's just, I mean, Mike Galbraith, um, Allison Lewis, uh, Michelle Held, Emily Rose, incredible singer-songwriters that will blow your mind come to this open mic and we always have a featured guest and so I'm constantly trying to bring in somebody new to share their work and it's awesome. I think it says that you know come down here and see it for yourself. It's just very telling when you can come down and you can see the talent that's here. I want you to come down and support this beautiful culture that's happening and be a part of it because it's going to continue to grow and what's so special is when you can be a part of that. You can learn more about Audrey Kubat and all the artists you'll see here on DetroitPerforms.org.